hello everyone so yet another update video uh, sorry about that but uh, I, I like to put out a video for major updates just to explain some of the features that have been added sort of acts as like a video documentation okay so this is where we are currently oh look I haven't changed the version number don't worry I'll do that when I release it so the XVFO now looks like this so the functions we've got on here as before obviously the jog wheel change the step here you can see it's changing up here or you can right click and select it from a drop down list like that bandwidth there's three bandwidths uh, wide narrow thin because there seems to be a third option in the firmware so I just went with that uh, open squelch is obvious So TX is RX. I didn't really know what to call this option. So it basically just if you when you've got this enabled, you can see that the TX frequency follows the RX frequency. When you unlock it, this will remain static. You can just change the RX frequency and then type in whatever TX frequency you want. Uh, power. This lets you change your output power from zero to 100%. I have it all the way down at 0% because then I can test transmissions without actually putting anything out. Uh, Companda, again, receive, transmit, or both. This lets you select the tone. Now, the tones at the moment are only on transmit. I will implement receive tones eventually. I need to put in an automatic squelch because the squelch is currently just signal level based so I'm going to have to put an automatic squelch in like the radio does normally so that it's also able to deal with the received tones as well but select the tone type you need here by clicking that you can see it's gone to CTCSS now click it again you get DCS click it again you get reverse DCS and this lets you change the the tone that you've got now obviously clicking through hundreds of tones is a pain so whatever you've got selected there you can right click the TX tone button and just select it from a drop down and of course if you've got CTCSS selected it will show you the CTCSS codes okay settings just brings up your settings as per so over here um, we've got a panel I just thought this would be useful for things like um, tablets touch screens things like that I thought that might um, you know be useful for those kind of users you can just type in a frequency just like that you can also type it in let's open my squelch now you don't have to click in there to type in you can just start typing like that it just depends which way you want to do it down here are your presets so these act like channels so so to speak so if I want to program in say my local repeater which is on 430.9125 okay and then the input frequency I believe is 438 0.5125 okay so that's set the um, the offset basically uh, CTCSS and its code is 71.9 there we go and I believe and set the squelch and you probably want to set the power as well but I'm going to keep that at zero because I can't transmit so I'll set the squelch probably around here Okay, so once you've got it set up the way you want, right click in this window, add new, and this repeater is GB3SR, press return, and it will go into this window here. And you can add as many as you want to here. And just click it to recall it. The name will appear in the uh, display, and that's it. There are other options in here for you know sorting and arranging them the way you want and these will save obviously when the 
program is, is closed down. So that's it. That is the new VFO. Still got work to do. Like I said, uh, automatic squelch needs to be implemented. Receive tones need to be implemented. There are a few other options as well. A few other settings I want to put into this. And more, most importantly, don't expect this to be flawless, right? This is bleeding edges at the moment, and there are bound to be issues, bugs, glitches, whatever. So, yeah, just uh, be aware of that. It's not going to be 100% right away. And if you're getting TX problems, what I would suggest is turn the TX power all the way down, right, all the way down to zero, and then try transmit again. And if your problems go away, when this TX power is all the way down to zero, then your issue is RF energy causing issues. Yeah, that's just an easy way to test whether that's what's causing the problem. All right, so that's enough of that. Thank you for watching and have fun. Bye.